Today, calling hours will be held for the North Country Trooper killed in the line of duty. Thousands of people are expected to gather tonight at the McGrath Sports Complex in Fort Drum for the wake of Trooper Joel Davis. Our Brandon Roth is live in Watertown right now where preparations are underway. Brandon. Lisa, New York State Honor Guard is standing watch over the body of their fallen comrade, New York State Trooper Joel Davis. They've been standing watch here at the Reed and Benoit Funeral Home since Trooper Davis's body was brought here on Wednesday. And law enforcement officers from across the country are expected to turn out starting today with the funeral calling hours, which will be later today this afternoon at 4 o'clock and Fort Drum, and then with the funeral itself, which is scheduled for tomorrow also at Fort Drum. There has been a tremendous outpouring of support for Trooper Davis here in the North Country, in the Watertown community as people have been coming to pay their expect and are expected to turn out today. Religious leaders are preparing for this as well. We spoke with the chaplain for the Watertown Police Department and he tells us he hopes to be able to provide some comfort to the community in this time of grief. Uh, and I think the inherent dangers of law enforcement, it's kind of there in the, in the back of, of families' minds. But when it happens, as it has here, uh, tragically, uh, I think it's just a lot for people to kind of get their hearts and their minds around um, because of the senselessness of it. I'm back now live. You can see that New York State Police Honor Guard continuing to stand watch here at the Reed and Benoit Funeral Home in preparation for calling hours scheduled for later today. Trooper Davis was a four-year veteran of the New York State Police. He is survived by his wife and three young children. We're live in Watertown this morning. Brandon Roth for Today in Central New York. Brandon, thank you.